mulch in our potato bed has already begun its transformation into beautiful, rich garden soil. And the potatoes aren't looking too bad either. Just over three weeks ago, following an approach I've used for the past couple years, I planted seed potatoes in a thick mulch of leaves and used coffee grounds that were collected last fall and spent the whole winter outside. I also added worm castings full of red wigglers and their cocoons to each planting hole. I'm counting on the red wigglers and native earthworms to help transform the mulch into beautiful garden soil and produce worm castings that will help stimulate the growth of our potatoes. As the potatoes grew over the past few weeks, I gradually hilled them up with more leaves, used coffee grounds, and worm castings, along with compost, comfrey, and a little green yard waste. But this weekend, the potatoes were tall enough that I needed to hill them up in earnest to keep the plants from falling over and to provide enough cover for the growing tubers below. So I collected some worm castings, used coffee grounds, leaves, ground eggshells, and comfrey, and added them to the potato bed. I first laid down a layer of leaves, spreading them evenly through the bed. Next I added the ground eggshells. The gritty shells will help the red wigglers break down food in their gizzards and add much needed calcium to the soil. Then I added the used coffee grounds, which are a favorite food of red wigglers. Like the ground eggshells, the coffee grounds will help the worms break down food in their gizzards. They'll also provide a slow release of nitrogen into the soil, as well as a more immediate boost in potassium and phosphorus. I gently mixed the eggshells and coffee grounds into the leaf mulch. Next I added the worm castings, which were full of red wigglers and their cocoons. I spread the castings evenly around the bed and gently mixed them in with the rest of the mulch. Worm castings have been shown to stimulate plant growth and I'm hoping they work their magic on our potatoes. Then, to provide another food source for the red wigglers and a variety of nutrients for the soil, I harvested some comfrey and added it to the mulch. Comfrey has a deep root system that enables it to accumulate nutrients from deep in the soil and store them in its leaves. It accumulates nitrogen, potassium, calcium, iron, magnesium, and silicon. So adding comfrey will feed the worms and also enrich the soil with nutrients. After adding the comfrey, I finished my hilling for the day by adding another layer of leaves. And later in the afternoon, when the garden was mostly in the shade, I applied compost tea to the plants and mulch. The beneficial microbes in the tea should help break down the mulch and make its nutrients plant available. I expect that as the plants continue to grow and the mulch settles, I'll have to hill the potatoes at least another two or three times before the harvest. In the end, we hope to not only have an abundant potato harvest, but also nutrient-rich garden soil for future crops. However it turns out, I'll make sure to share the results with you. Well that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, remember, you can change the world one yard at a time.